so it's a public holiday today in Hong Kong so I'm gonna use it as an opportunity to go on a sunset hike and today I am taking you to the stage 4 of the Macaros Trail which brings us from Sai Kong to the Mount Shan side of Hong Kong and it has a beautiful view, ridge walks, a lot of mountain ranges so stick around and hope you enjoy this video Naked. So the Makalhos Trail is a hundred kilometer trail here in Hong Kong and was dubbed by the National Geographic Society around 2016 or 2017, I'm not particularly sure, as one of the world's most beautiful trails. So when I found out about that, it's quite amazing how it's in Hong Kong because you know Hong Kong is usually known to be just an urban uh, place for shopping, food trips, etc. And so I wanted to check it out. So because it's a very long trail, 100 kilometers, it's split up into 10 stages. So right now we're doing the fourth stage. I've only done stage one, stage two, and stage four. So I have yet to conquer stage three and five onwards. Maybe I'll make a video about that next time. <laughs> this is a challenging trail and it's pretty hot today so I couldn't help it but to follow Mark and take off my shirt and after I took it off Ian also took it off. <laughs> so now we're just resting because it's getting quite steep. <laughs> so, one of the best advices I've heard from photography is you know when whenever you're, go you're going to one direction to see some nice view don't forget to look back because it can also offer you some new perspectives I mean from the views here are amazing and to give you some consolation whenever you feel tired it's always nice to see how far you've gotten <laughs> I mean, just, that's just me trying to be wise. <laughs> waiting for the sunset which is about in half an hour time I'm looking for my composition and now scouting some nice photographs but I think maybe I'll talk about some simple concepts that I apply in my photography so the concepts that I try to apply is simplicity I don't want my photos to be too cluttered, too noisy I don't want to confuse the viewers so I try to keep my photos as simple as possible the second would be I try to look for elements around uh, the scene that can direct the eye or lead the eye so a very common concept would be the leading lines in photos so that these elements can aid the viewer or direct the viewer's attention to the highlight of the scene. The third would of course be having a prominent subject. I think a photo that without a very strong subject is not a good photo at all. I try to make sure that it's very clear what the photo that I'm taking off 
or what the subject in my photo will be. And the last point will be, of course, on my editing. So my editing will try to enhance or supplement these elements that I try to capture in the scene. These are very basic concepts, uh, but hopefully those make sense. And if I missed out any other things that I should apply, do let me know as well. <laughs> and hopefully the tips that I give make sense to you and something that you can apply in your photos as well. So, the light never came. Uh, it's still very hazy and I don't see any orange golden color that I wanted. But that's okay. I think I took some okay shots. <laughs> I'm wearing my shirt now because it's getting chilly. <laughs> I think the rain clouds are coming in and we might not have enough time to go down and probably get a bit wet later. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and see you again next time. Thanks for watching.